Hello guys and welcome back to our Satisfactory Update 6 Let's Play series. In our last episode we built this space elevator parts factory which is producing everything that we need for the next space elevator um, milestone. Which means that hopefully today with a little bit of luck we'll be able to send this space elevator off. And the other thing that we built was this hypertube launcher accelerator system. Uh, I do actually want to play around with this at a later date doing like a, a circular accelerator. I think that could work better, but for now this is going to work perfectly for us. But today we are going to be sorting out this quartz factory and producing something pretty cool out of it. And we're probably going to get on to doing some oil processing too in the Spire Coast. But as a heads up, if anything does sound weird today, I've been really struggling with the echo in this room. For those of you who don't know, I've just moved to Mexico for the next few months. and. Everything's made out of concrete or tiles, so we've had a lot of uh, problems with that. I've moved a lot of furniture in, we've got a, a sofa, we've got a mattress, we have the green screen up, we also have um, extra cushions and pillows in here, just to try and dampen that noise down for you. We will be getting audio foam and setting that up in the stream room, hopefully by the end of this week. We're just waiting on it to arrive from Amazon. So until then, uh, hopefully all the sound quality is okay for you. So the big thing that we're waiting for really until we can progress is going to be the next phase sent off to the space elevator. Uh, if we go over there really quickly and check it, we can see that we're waiting on 130 smart plating as well as just 30 versatile frameworks. So that's not going to take us too long. And this is what we're going to be working with. If we just pop in there, you'll see that we only have a silica factory currently running. Uh, this is enough for some of the glass that we want, like uh, this stuff. But we're going to need some crystal quartz as well. So I'm going to start off by pretty much removing all of this. We're going to have to push it all back. I have got a bit of stuff on me, so let's just get rid of them. We need to get rid of all of these because I think we need to push this back. We will be using the same style of uh, cavity wall. Um, but we do need more space here. We also, I want to have a awesome sink in here so that we can constantly sink any excess resources. Something really useful to have if you've, if you've just started playing the game. If you want to keep your factory running efficiently so that you don't have drops in your power supply, then I highly recommend just placing a sink at the end of each of your lines so that once your storage is filled up, you can just sink the rest and that will mean that the factory never stops running so you don't have any dips uh, in your energy consumption and yeah it's just generally good practice because you get extra coupons as well and here we are now that i've finished the basic layout for the factory you can see that rather than uh, totally demolishing what we had that instead this section is the old factory uh, you can even see where that walkway was. We were using the same walkway. And then we've extended it back so that we have the same cavity wall system just across. We're using the glass walls this time. And that way we now have two separate sections. One's going to be for the silica and the other one for the quartz crystal. And though this is a good start, there is one problem, which is the quartz is going through to this section here. Which, I mean, is okay, but now we're going to have to separate it somehow between the two and have like a, a weird line going across there. So I think what's probably going to be better is we'll do a, a cavity wall along here and bring the baby, baby here. You can see that we're now opposite where the steel pipes and the steel beams have been coming through. Um, I should probably remove them at some point. But but we have the quartz on the side. If I can move the quartz onto there and bring it across to here, it's going to look a lot better than having this line going across. So we're just being aware of parts of the factory that by making that little bit of extra effort are going to make it look a little bit better. And hopefully by doing this constantly and consistently throughout this save will actually make this look better but I do need to really focus on the aesthetics of these builds because at the moment, none of this looks particularly good for me, although I quite like the inside of the uh, steel factory over there. Okay, let's place down some, cons well, let me sort this out and then we'll place down some constructors. 
So I was going to put the quartz in between, but rather than go through that effort, I thought, you know what, why not just keep it as it is and bring it out and then go across. So that's what we've done. And actually go straight into a splitter at the bottom. I haven't done that before. Uh, I'm still not sure how I feel about that kind of clipping into the splitter, but it works. So we're going to run with it for now. I've just not sure how I feel about it going through. Hmm, I might need to add like a floor hole just to make it look like it's like not clipping through. But that's not what I want to show you because I know you're all going to complain about that. But in here we have the layout. So we have the what's going to be the quartz crystal here. And then over this side, we're going to have the silica being produced. Um, not sure. I think we're going to have to move this back and then have it maybe go under the factory. I think that's going to be the, the best solution for this um, point here. But what I wanted to show you was this kind of ceiling that we've done. If we go up here. Oh, and here's the sink. Still need to think that through. But for the ceiling, we do have these um, like slanted. Slant, it's not slanted. Slits. Roofing slits. Oh, by the way, if you uh, have this uh, problem here, there's a really easy solution. Go over to your options. Go to. If I can remember rightly, video, and then go to shadows. Where are you? Shadow quality. Turn this down to high. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, so, a little tip for you there. But what I'm going to do here, we're just going to zoop this all the way across. And once I finish this, you'll see how it looks. But I kind of want to add lighting above so that when you're underneath, you get this kind of cool lighting effect. Um, I'll let you know when it's done because we've got a fair bit to do yet. Oh, and if you wanted to know how I did that, uh, let me just go around, grab one of these road barriers. And all I've done is gone to the middle of a foundation, placed loads of these down, and then grabbed a wall and holding control, replace them, like so. Easy to do, um, and hopefully you'll like how it looks after this. But for now, you just have to trust me. Are you ready for it? Here we go. How does that look? I'm, oh, I've still got a line to do here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this, really. I think this looks great, but I do need to clean it up a little bit. We also have a little walkway that I've lined out with uh, barriers, barriers, pillars even. And I think we're going to have to add, well, get some materials and then do a little walkway through here. Yeah. But you can see how we've got this dropping down. It's going to come up across this side and go out to storage, the other side of this. And then the next thing that we need to do is change this box factory. Uh, into something a little bit more stylized. And I think we're going to do something with some, if I find them. Oh, we don't have ramps. Well, I need to unlock these at the awesome shop. And whilst we're, and whilst we sort out the awesome shop, I thought we ought to also check our space elevator. And would you look at this? We now are able to send the next one off. So let's do that. And there she blows! Fantastic. I was actually informed that a lot of people only play until the first space elevator um, parts because they find the next two a little bit too difficult to do. Now I do intend to cover the guides on how to build them again, probably for 1.0. We do have some guides up there, but they're going to be changing uh, the recipes later on. So we won't do anything else for the time being in regards to that. Um, but you can see we've now unlocked these. Of course, if you do want to see the factory layout that I've done for this, you can do. If you're a member of our Patreon, I think it's a half moon tier onwards, you get access to this save. So uh, do check out my Patreon if you do want to check that out and support the channel further. Uh, we now have unlocked oil processing, industrial manufacturing, alternative fluid transport, and the gas mask, which I've never used. And we also have expanded power infrastructure, jetpack, this is going to be a game changer, but we do need to unlock the plastic and the rubber first for that, as well as uh, the advanced, is it advanced packaging? 
Where is it? Alternative fluid transport, that's one. And uh, then we have trains. This is a big one. This is going to change our whole world eventually. Um, I always feel that when we get to trains, that's like where the building begins. That's where you start putting in the effort into making permanent buildings, where they st you start to focus on the aesthetics. Why am I going back here? I need to unlock slow. Just that. Good. Um, we need to unlock. Some. I've been doing some AI limiters. There are really good for points. Says there are two points. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to save up some more. Do we have any? In oh, we do have two in here. I need to buy those sloped uh, foundations. Which thankfully are only three coupons. So we'll take them and we'll uh, head back over and work on that factory. If you've seen my recent, I say recent, a month ago, maybe two months, my video, a uh, little guide on how to change a box factory and improve its looks, you'll see I kind of do this tip here. This is one of several tips that I, I have in that. Do check out that video. But what we're going to do is actually build on top of it so that we're we're building depth into this. We'll probably add more glass as well, or maybe change this to the borderless ones. I have not, which I do, because I think these look better. Of course, we need silica. Um, and we're going to fill this out as well, and then we'll probably do something with maybe a cutout of the wall. Oh, I already did it. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Uh, I had wanted to do that. Um, but you can see how we're using different materials and uh, walls to add depth to something. And I think that just looks really nice. Anyway, I'll finish this and uh, show you the finished product. And here we are. You can see we've finished with the slope. We've also done a little bit of work with the walls as well. Have some little cutouts. And on top of that, I also ran the beams across the top to give it this kind of um, I don't know, grated look? I just, I kind of like it. It's just a little something that you can add to it. And I also extended that out as well. But I think what I really want to do with this once we unlock plastic would be to change that to a coated foundation. I just like the reflective nature of that and I think that looks really good against a matte background. So moving on, it's time to unlock some oil. You can see that we already have it selected here. So the first thing that we want to unlock is oil processing. This gives us access to plastic, plastic and rubber, as well as fuel and petroleum coke. So we're going to be producing the plastic, the rubber, and we're going to be exporting heavy oil residue um, to become fuel in a separate refinery. But in order to use the fuel in our expanded power infrastructure, which is fuel generators, we're actually going to have to unlock first, um, we should actually look at this, um, computers. Computers are unlocked in tier five in industrial manufacturing. So we're going to go from oil processing straight to industrial manufacturing. And from there, we'll head into expanded power infrastructure. And then it's going to be a toss up really between the jetpack, which is going to help us with building and getting an overhead view of everything or monorail train technology, because this save is going to be using a lot of trains. I love trains, expect to see a lot of them. Okay, so we need to get some motors. We do have a few on the go just over here being produced. We need 50. We have 30, okay, we're getting there. We'll be back in a moment. And here we are with our 50 motors. So we're just going to unlock this. And with that, we now need to find the perfect spot for our oil refineries. Of course, I have a, a pretty good idea where I want to be with it being update six. Yes, flying across over the dune desert, you can see we have the Spire Coast to play around with. And funnily enough, the only nodes that are currently available in the Spire Coast are the oil ones, and we're going to hopefully use them all. Maybe not right away. And the other thing that I'd really like to do with this uh, factory is to integrate the factory within the nature around it. At least try to. Um, it's one of those things that I'm not great with. Same with piping. But that's something we're going to try around with in this build. And I think I've found the perfect spot for it already, but 
We've got to be careful. There may be some evil things about. Um, it's actually this, well, near this area. There are three... You're not oil. Oh, hello. Um, ah, here. Here's one of them. I think this is the normal one. Yes. And then there's a impure node around here somewhere. Here. In fact, I think we jumped over another impure node just over there. And then if we go over this side. Uh, let's scan. It'll be easier for us. We have one over here. Here, that's pure and another one just there that's pure and I'll be honest it would be really cool if we could build a factory above this kind of um, like mushroom and little uh, I don't know uh, forest area on this little island we'll see how it will look and we'll go from there but I've got a feeling this is going to be a pretty big build so we are going to leave it there in the next episode we will be building the refinery setup here and we'll try and do the whole build within this one episode if you did like this video please do hit the thumbs up if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and special thanks does go to all of our supporters most notably our solo clips patrons cerebral tag james Irwin, fireflesh and jerry too as well as our lunars the Calamity, Dixie Chris and Ben, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Chick Norris. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.